off Switch Cave. Yeah, he put two eyes in Switch. So you have a level where you have to control layer two with the on off switches. And these passages are tight, so this is actually pretty hard to do. Wait, this part is barely possible at all. Once you get here, you only have a bit of time to squeeze through this passage. So I think it's better off doing the small, but even then, once you get this part, it just becomes flat out chaotic to try and time it perfectly so you can squeeze through the passage and then get to that on off block there. You have to time it perfectly, otherwise you'll just get stuck and it'll never scroll back up, so you'll just be dead. Again, did he even test his levels? Ludwig Keep. Once you begin Ludwig Keep, you get a room with two fire flowers, two feathers, a three up moon, and then you have a boss to fight. And you'll quickly notice what this becomes. Here you have to fight a magic bro, with obvious door right behind it, so the whole thing is pointless. Just go in the door. You'll find this laughable attempt at a torch. Piece of lava sitting on a spike. It's just this one we've already done. Remember Adobe of Cooper Brothers? From what I've seen already, this guy tried to replicate a bunch of Brutal Mario's bosses. You know, the villains from Seiken Densetsu 3 that were put into Brutal Mario. Carol had a lot of know-how to make these things function very well. But judging by what you've seen in Collision, how do you think Blackout would try and replicate this? Here's how. This is how. You're probably unsure as to what is even going on in the first place. I think I know what it is though. This boss is just a static image. Well actually it's on a moving layer too, but it's a relatively static image. It looks absolutely nothing like the actual Brutal Mario boss. What you really do fight is the big boo boss. This is just decoration essentially. If I need to continue explaining this, these bosses are essentially decoration. So these graphics serve no purpose to the actual fight and you're just fighting against the big boo in a moving layer 2 boss fight with more floating and stock munchers. Seriously, this is an absolute desecration to Brutal Mario. So at this point, you would say that these bosses are spectators. I think of them more as prisoners. As in, Blackout managed to capture these Seiken Detsetsu 3 bosses during some virtual war in 2008 and all of these years, this is where they've been imprisoned. And no one knows how to get them out of this hack. Believe me, people have tried. The penthouse's top soldiers have been trying to free these prisoners. To no avail. They are still stuck here to this day. And can you even dodge that muncher thing? Oh, and look at the door graphic. What happened here? It doesn't even look like a door. And now we get into this castle. From what I've read up, this actually looks a lot like the Bowser's Castle in Brutal Mario. Blackout tried to go all the way in replicating Brutal Mario with the castle. Except he did a really bad job at it. Like, even looking at the spot link, you have a feeling that this came out terribly. Oh, how was I supposed to know? There was no coin tray or anything. Why can't this be World 1 of Collision? Where Blackout actually had some sort of idea as to what the hell he was doing. Instead of just trying to clone Brutal Mario. You had a bridge setting in Brutal Mario. Except here's what happened to it. It's nowhere near as ominous and interesting as the one in Brutal Mario. I've never played the hack, so I don't really know what it's like, but I can already assume it would be way better than this. A big boo boss that causes sprite memory error. So I think you're the real ghost in this case. You're the one that can't be seen. You should be called the ghost, not this thing. What can you not see? Mario or the boo? <laughs> Until you get off the same screen that it is on. And sprite memory error doesn't actually happen. Once it's gone, everything's fine. Do I have the worst luck sometimes, or what? Believe me, that was some high-tier bad luck. And this is just confusing as all hell, because I can hardly even tell what's going on. You would think that these are decoration, but no, you can actually stand on these Bowser statues. This whole endgame is just so poorly executed, it'll leave your brain bleeding for the next week or so. Oh, now this pilot pillar is solid all of a sudden. Okay, this is solid. 
despite we have pillars that look the exact same but aren't. Again, it's a huge no-no to have two things that look the same do different things. And then a boss fight against Bowser. The problem here is that this one's not going to break through the blocks like you think. This isn't the Bowser fight from Super Mario Bros. 3. This is the one from Super Mario Bros. 1. These bricks here are actually turn blocks in disguise. The problem here is not the fact that the whole boss was poorly executed, but this is hard as shit to do. I mean, you have to break the blocks that Bowser's standing on, but he's always standing on the blocks, so he's in the way. This is tough because Bowser's just standing right in your way when you need to do something. Wait, what the hell happened? I'll roll with it. I seem to somehow trigger a war without even killing the boss. And now I've gone to the next sub-level. I didn't even kill the boss, I just fell in the hole and I warped. Last time I fell in the hole, I died. So what does the hole really do? You just have to get lucky and fall in the right spot of the hole, otherwise you're gonna die and have to redo everything? Break these blocks, keep falling, and you'll find the door. And after all that, you'll fight the original boss fight from Super Mario World. This is probably the weirdest slash worst attempt at an endgame I've ever seen in my life, ever. Mario Endgames was a lot better. No, it was way too damn hard, it was a lot better. After doing that, beating the same Bowser boss you've beaten a lot of times, you'll trigger an unchanged ending cutscene. You'll still have to beat another level. K's End. One last level to go. Wouldn't these Bowser statues technically shoot lasers? From what I heard, in the original Brutal Mario Castle that this is based off of, these statues shot lasers like they do in Super Mario Bros. 3. Instead, you have these reflecting fireballs that are very unlikely to even touch you in the first place, therefore making that much easier than he had intended. You do this ominous looking castle room that, wait a minute, isn't this familiar? That's because it is. You'll never believe what happened in the end game here. He ended up redoing the same level twice. So essentially, the final two levels are almost the exact same thing. You just have to play the final level twice. What happened? Did he forget that he somehow pulled this off? No, I'm seriously back at this boss fight that I was already doing. As hard a time as you may be having believing this, this level and this level are almost identical. Somehow. And there's still a bit more game left to review. Thank fucking god. Much like Super Mario World, this also has a Star World that serves as a huge shortcut between all the different worlds. And we got these five Star World levels. Grassland Star. The first Star World level, Grassland Star, is one of these levels where the enemies are gonna hide behind the scenery. Thankfully, if you look hard enough, you should still be able to see them. Or you can just keep jumping up as high as you can to try and dodge them. Usually you have enemies that jump high in the air, like those Paracoopas, you have some Goombas. So really, I can't say that this idea was executed terribly at all. Pyramid Star is another of these. Except I'm willing to bet that you won't have to worry about the timers glitching. But I'm, willing to be, I'm willing to bet you won't have to worry about time blocks that'll glitch out, because it looks like you have enough time to do this anyway. Oh no, he didn't. If you take the wrong path and you don't have a power-up to glide with, you're going to get killed by these munchers that are floating too. So if you take the wrong path, you're dead. Yeah, talk about being a dick where there's a chance you could just die just because you chose the wrong path. I mean, who does that? Oh, oh wait, Blackout really got carried away with a hammer brother with the ratchet scrolling. Giant star! Except I'm thinking this block is actually supposed to work and you get a star out of it so you can run through these plants, but no, it doesn't. You're gonna have to take damage in that first half there. From what I've seen, if you fly up, you'll find a door and that'll just make everything small. Much like Super Mario 3 where you switch between giant size and normal sized, in the normal sized half of this level, the star block works, but why does it not work here? I guess he never got around to it. Pipe Star! Yep, another of these pipe levels where I think I know what exactly happens. You have to search for the right pipe that'll let you leave this level. And all these are secret exits and I'm gonna bother to scope out. You can figure them out yourself if you want to. I've already said what I've had to say about Cloud's Pipe System and Pipe's Clan. You probably get the idea. Last Star Wars level is Airship Star. If you find a secret exit in this, you'll get to go to the special zone. Wait till you see what happens.
happens in there, you're not even gonna believe it. You're gonna wish you never played this hack. Oh my god, how am I supposed to do this without power-ups? I'll be back. Alright, so let's continue playing the airship star. Needless to say, it looks like it's gonna be a really hard level. I mean, you have all these bullet bills to contend with. Oh no, he didn't. ARE YOU SHITTING ME?! HE PUT AN INVISIBLE BLOCK THERE! And I'm willing to bet that was just to make you lose. Dick. You know what, I don't even want to play this level. We are in the home stretch. We have all this left to do and that's collision for you. you want to believe what he called the special zone here? Dark Lich. As in the boss from Sagan that says to 3 that was used as the main villain in Brutal Mario. So you're gonna have to fight the Dark Lich here. Again, you can already imagine how this is going to turn out. HORRIBLY! 